Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Grey Alien Games, and this is the Ancient Enemy Vlog number two. So this is just a quick vlog today to talk about the map node system that I've been working on. So here's the map for the game, and you can see there are nodes all over it. Um, they are actually connected like so, and I can see that when I press a special key to bring up my editor. So this tells the game in which order they unlock. So we start at level one, uh, we go to level two, three, and so on. And each one, if I press um, U on this one to unlock it, you can see it unlocks the next one and so forth. So that makes sense. Now that's for a linear map. However, when I click um, one of these sub nodes, let's go to this one, uh, there's actually a, a sub map that appears and there are, um, choices now. So basically we've got a path going up through the middle and then sub nodes either side. So when the player um, beats this one, uh, this one opens up and when they beat this one, boom, you've got, they can carry on ahead or go to these side paths. And that's defined in the node editor um, by these joins. So if I added a new node over here um, and I wanted to join it to, to number three, uh, hand three. I click on that first and then I use my nerd editor to basically connect the two like this. And I could add um, another one here, for example, and I could connect it like so. Um, and then when I unlock this, it will unlock uh, both nodes. It should do, but it's not. Oh, uh, okay. I know why. I actually have to save it first and come back to it, which I don't want to do because this is um, one of the levels that uh, is fixed in the game at the moment. So each map you can see, we've basically got um, a mostly linear path, but then we've got some sub levels you can go and explore um, to gain power ups and uh, power literally, which can level up your character. Um, one of the other things I'm thinking about doing, let's go and have a look at one of these down here, for example, is, so we've got some more sub paths here, but one of the things we could also do is perhaps add a node in here and then um, connect it uh, like so and like so, so that there's actually like a sub path going through there. Um, so the player can either take this route or that route. And that would be kind of interesting, I think. Some players might be completionist and might want to go through the whole thing. Anyway, um, the other thing about the node editor is, let's have a look at this one. Each node has a number associated with it. Oh, it's all zero on that one. Bear with me, I'll go back. Okay. So the number after the equal sign is the background uh, number. So this first one has got 13. So if I go and play that level, you can see there's a bridge in the background, which is, is background number 13. Uh, when I go back here, I'll just cheat and um, unlock. Actually, I'll unlock them all. So, this has got 14, which is marsh. So I can go and see this marsh background. Um, and let's have a look down here. This is a nice one. I, I, I use this one when there's sort of water nearby. It's a sort of ruin with a distant sort of view, which is quite nice. So, so basically what I can also do in the editor is use page up and down to adjust these uh, numbers for the backgrounds and then, you know, go and see what they look like. So that's it really. The editor is really useful for adding new nodes, for moving them around and positioning them, and for assigning background numbers, and of course linking them all up and defining how they unlock. Um, so I've done most of them. I've got a few more chapters to do over here, um, and then that part of the game will be done. Right, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for more dev vlogs coming soon. Bye.